Could we see 1 million Ethereum developers in the blockchain ecosystem by 2020? <laughs> well, that's the challenge that Joseph Lubin just gave from the main stage at DevCon this year. All right, so I'm gonna talk about that in this video. If you're just joining me for the first time, hey, I'm Gregory from DAP University. Click the like button down below, click subscribe. And if you wanna learn how to become a highly paid blockchain developer, you should join my free training on my website over at dappuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp. So 1 million Ethereum developers by next year. All right, this is huge. So let's look at this tweet. So this is a recap of what he says. I've got a mission for you, DevCon 5. 1 million Ethereum developers. Can we make it happen by DevCon 6, which is next year in 2020? So he says there are 30 million devs worldwide. Let's give them their holy shit moment in blockchain and jumpstart a more open and transparent Web 3.0. All right, so just a little backstory. In case you're not familiar, DevCon is like the premier blockchain developer conference. It focuses specifically on Ethereum. And there are huge names there like uh, Vitalik Buterin, the co-founder of Ethereum, and also Joseph Lubin, the co-founder of Ethereum, and now the CEO of Consensus. And Joseph Lubin gave us this challenge as a developer community from the main stage at the conference. And he didn't just give us this challenge, he also gave us a tool to help fulfill it. This is 1milliondevs.com, a website they just released to help uh, bring in developers into the Ethereum ecosystem. It looks really cool. All right, I'm gonna go back to this in a second. Uh, but I wanna talk about this, right? This seems like a, a well-timed Times challenge, and here's why. Uh, it kind of seems like a little bit of a flex, and I'm, that's not a criticism, it's actually really awesome. I think it's great for the Ethereum community because this makes me think that they're seeing Ethereum as getting close to uh, ready for prime time, especially with the arrival of Ethereum 2.0, which I've, uh, if you haven't watched my previous videos, I've talked about how that is finalized. Vitalik has talked about it being finalized. And it's ready to go, and they're gonna start rolling it out in the phases very soon. So from the combination of Ethereum 2.0 plus the good momentum we have in the developer community already, uh, um, this is a well-timed challenge to start bringing new people into the space with a tool like this, all right? So I wasn't able to actually make it out to DEF CON this year. I've just been following along with the live streams and Twitter, but I just saw this last night and I wanted to make this video. And I'm gonna make this like a first look or an unboxing video. I'm actually gonna see this for the first time, try it out, and I'll let you follow along with me. So it looks like you need to have MetaMask installed in order to start. So I'm gonna click Enable Blockchain, open MetaMask. Okay, click Connect. All right, so we signed the developer pledge. Sign. <laughs> All right, womp womp. So actually, it looks like the DAP isn't even active yet. It's still coming soon. <laughs> Sorry, guys. But let's take a look at some of the other features that are going to be available whenever it goes live. Okay, so you'll have a decentralized developer profile. All right, you'll be able to show your own projects off. You'll be able to show anything that you've built on Ethereum. You, you could take any of the tutorials you've done on my channel and put it on your portfolio. And I'm sure this could be a great way for you to get a job as a blockchain developer. If you already know how to use this, you can put your own blockchain projects on that. It's going to be a huge leg up for you. So what's really cool about this is it looks like it has a uh, decentralized identity identity system, okay? So your identity is self-sovereign. Your data is your own. And the rewards you own are provably scarce and unique. So what does that mean? Well, basically, this uh, DAP's going to use the promise of Web 3.0 where you're not giving all your data away to a central server. You're instead retaining it for yourself, all right? You'll own your own data. You'll own your own identity uh, stored on the blockchain, and nobody else is going to manage that for you. And also, the rewards that you earn are going to be provably scarce and unique, okay? So if you get some sort of kudos or any sort of uh, reputation that you're going to earn on this, it's going to be written on the blockchain. And because of that, it's going to have authentic scarcity and authentic uniqueness. So it looks like it's also going to have interactive quests and adventures. All right, so this is discover your aha moment. So this is saying like when a lot of people get into blockchain, they see Ethereum for the first time, there's usually a light bulb that goes off at some point, okay? And then these little quests that are designed to lead other people to these light bulb moments, they go, oh, aha, that's why blockchain's important. That's why I need to use it. That's why Web 3.0 is such a huge deal. And they have these little mini quests and adventures that are designed to sort of lead you to that, okay? So uh, you can see the community curated adventures where you could also submit your own uh, light bulb moment for somebody else to discover. So you could like uh, sort of zoom in on this and see what the adventures are like. So your new account, obtain some ether, create a new account, you know, add some uh, account to MetaMask, transfer some Ethereum. So yeah, this looks like an awesome tool for onboarding new devs. I really like this idea of a light bulb moment and then getting them used to using a wallet, connecting to the blockchain and things like that. Uh, so yeah, I wish I could actually show this dap off today. I didn't realize it wasn't fully available. But let's look at this last point, right? So this challenge to re achieve 1 million Ethereum developers, right? He talked about trying to do it by DevCon 2020, which would be a year from now, okay? So so how could we do that? Well, this is tools really great way to start. Um, and, and I'm continuing to release content on this channel, try to bring people in, uh, teach them how to be blockchain developers. But let's see how much we have to grow in order for that to happen. Well, we can see that uh, right now the stat is that 
You know, there are 200,000 plus active Ethereum developers at this moment. So if we're gonna grow to a million within a year, we've got to 5X the current number of devs in the space. All right, so like I said earlier, we could see a really big inflection point happen whenever Ethereum 2.0 rolls out and Ethereum really gets ready for prime time and we start seeing lots of other projects being built on top of the platform. This is a really great time with a lot of cool, exciting projects being built on top of Ethereum, especially in the decentralized finance or DeFi space. Go check out that video I released last week on DeFi if you want to know, learn more about that. You know, 5x growth, but hey, there's 30 million developers out there. So if you think about it, it's still a pretty small market share of people who know how to program already to move over to Ethereum and, and increase their skill set that way. Not to mention the people who aren't developers yet who can get into the space and learn blockchain as their first discipline. So if y'all like this video, if you were at DevCon this year and you saw this talk, you know, if you want to chat about it, just uh, leave a comment down below. As always, like the channel, subscribe, and if you want to become a blockchain developer, you should join my free training on my website over at dappuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp. All right, until next time, thanks for watching Dapp University.